Hello friends, hope you are doing well and welcome back to NovaTech videos and this is the series of Windows Server 2022 here I am going to create a series of all the roles which are available in Server 2022 such as Active Directory Domain Services Domain Naming System, DNS, DSCP, File Services, etc. etc. So the core intention to create this series is how to install, configure and manage the 2022 services. So before we proceed, let's take a, take a look what Microsoft says and what are the new features added in Server, Windows Server 2022. So this is the article from Microsoft and as per Microsoft, let's see what's new in Windows Server 2022. As we see this applies to Windows Server 2022 and it has different variant available and the most popular is Microsoft Windows Data Center and the Azure Edition. So there is a new version which is added as Azure Edition has been introduced with multiple capabilities and the new services so here we see data center azure edition builds on data center edition to deliver a vm only operating system that helps to use the benefits of cloud with advanced features like smb over qic Hot patch, Azure extended networking, the section describes some more new features. So hot patching, what is hot patching? So this is the new feature in Azure edition. So previously in previous version like 20, 20, uh, Windows Server 2020, 2016 and 2019 and other legacy operating systems while we install the operating system uh, uh, the new patches Microsoft patches to uh, our Windows OS it was recommended to take a reboot just after reinstalling the new patches but in this new edition this is new feature added so we can install the patches but we do not need a restart restart after patching so th this is very good feature which is added and also, I want to draw your attention about the SMB over QUIC. So QUIC stands for Quick UDP Internet Connection. So SMB over QUIC updates the SMB 3.1.1 protocol to use the QUIC protocol instead of TCP in Windows Server 2022 data center. Azure Edition, Windows 11 and later, the third party clients, if this supported by using SMB over QUIC along with TLS 1.3, user and application can securely and reliably access data from each H uh, file servers running in Azure. So it means previously we used to use the SMB services like if we have any file server that must be using 
SMB protocol in the backend in order to provide access or the share access to the end users. But now if we have the file share all the file services on Azure, we can use this feature SMB over QUIC to access our resources without any VPN. As mentioned over here, mobile and telecommunicator users no longer need a VPN to access their file servers over SMB on Windows. And also this is the new feature extended network for the Azure. So there are plenty of amendments which are done in the new addition of Windows Server 2022. In terms of network, there are many features which are added. So let's take a look on this. Uh, this is talking about the configuration part. Azure extended network. Enables you to stretch an on-premises subnet into Azure to let on premises virtual machines keep their original on premises private IP address when migrating to Azure. So it means if we have any subnet which is created and the IP from that subnet are assigned to our on-prem servers and we have planned to migrate those servers on Azure, we can continue having the same IP addresses on Azure as well. So this is extended network for Azure. Let's talk more about the Active Directory. What are the new features introduced in Active Directory? Since we will be more focused on Active Directory. So let's understand what are the new key features which are added in Server 2022 Active Directory. So the first feature that is Administrative Center Enhancement. Windows Server 2022 brings improvement to the Active Directory Administrator Administrative Center ADAC, making it more user friendly and efficient. Administrators can now perform tasks such as creating and managing groups, users and computers with greater each and reduced complexity. So it means ADAC has more features compared to the previous one in order to manage users, groups and computers compared to the old version. The next feature and I personally liked it. This is time based group membership. So we have seen on Azure AD, we have dynamic groups available and here with this feature we can add any user to the group for a certain period of time so for time being if we want to add any new user as a member of any group so this is possible 
using time based group membership so this is very good feature uh, and it will give a lot relax to the administrator who works as a ad or active directory administrator the third one that is group membership replication compression so windows server 2022 introduces the ability to compress group membership changes during active directory replication this reduces the replication traffic and improves overall performance especially in environment with a large number of groups and complex group structure so it means if we have a plenty of users or mass number of users are being added in a group as a member so the replication to other domain controller it was happening using and the replication process so it was consuming more bandwidth and more time as per our replication process but but using this feature the replication uh, among the domain controllers will take place in a compressed manner and also it will have it will improve overall performance in the replication process the fourth one uh, this is very good feature uh, at active directory recycle win enhancement in previous version the active directory recycle win allowed the recovery of deleted object but required a complex process to enable it so we have to cert follow the certain process to re enable any account or restore any account from recycle bin so it was very hectic and tedious task for administrators you would have seen when we restore the account from any of the domain controller if we have hybrid network or hybrid environment like if we have server 2022 and also we have the legacy operating system 2012 as well so if the process of replication is not taken place or there is any issue with the legacy operating system in the rep in terms of replication so restoration of the account was a tedious job for administrators but now this feature active directory recycle when enhancement has given more reach for the administrator to restore the account number 5 increased security and access controls so the security and access control for the active directory that is also been amended so with each new release microsoft emphasizes security enhancement and windows server 2022 is no exception active directory in this version provides additional security features including better authentication protocols stronger password policies and improved auditing capabilities to help organizations in order to strengthen their network security the next one that is ad web services ad web services allow administrators to manage active directory using powershell so if we execute any powershell command 
in order to generate the data from all the domain controllers it requires ad web services to be running in the backend and this feature provides a more modern and streamlined approach to managing ad and enables more automations for various tasks so now we can create more script in more reliable way and also we can schedule the script in order to get more information from active directory using powershell the next key feature that is replication enhancement so we already discussed about the windows active directory groups so groups are now uh, will be replicate in a compressed way and also in replication enhancement windows server 2022 optimize active directory replication and ma making it faster and more efficient the improvement reduced replication latency and enhance reliability across distributed ad environment so compared to the previous version of windows server 2022 ad ds services this is or i mean 2022 is more flexible and in terms of replication it will take very less time to replicate the data across the domain controller so these are some of the amendments in the new iteration of server series and windows server 2022 has lot more to understand and learn and in this series of windows server 2022 i will try to cover each and every new newly added feature in the coming videos hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching